Okay, let's zero in on a couple of areas. I uh, have worked on this painting now. I'm happy with it. I'm, I was happy before, but I'm happier now. I believe I was able to improve it. I talked about extending this this light area. You know, sort of uh, here. My daughter popped in today and she described it as a wing. And I thought that was an apt description. I like it. I've extended that beyond these small couple of tufty clouds that are in the foreground and also uh, I laid a bunch of light on these trees on the left hand side and initially I was a bit worried about it because I thought well I like the dark trees against the light sky and then against the light orange bush here but you know this actually was pretty beneficial to lay some strokes of light in here and there now they're being laid over dry paint. So my brush is not loaded heavily. It's not dry either. It's somewhere in between. But I wanted to draw attention to uh, to those trees because, you know, in fact, what we're looking at right now, well, here, is more or less the focal area, right? The focal point. And that's the focal area. And I've done a little bit of tailoring in the water, a little bit, not too much, just a bit of tidying up here and there. I was potentially going to work, lay some light on the left hand landmass there, but no, I decided against it. I want my focus to be, uh, I don't want it to be competed with uh, by anything else on the painting. So let me just back out here a minute and steady the camera and get my corpulent carcass in front of the camera and let's just talk a minute about the nature of oil paint as opposed to other mediums um, Oil paints, lovely stuff. I love it. It's my favorite medium by far. Uh, it can have the, the it can have more depth, more of a buttery feel, uh, sort of just a richer feel all around. But in the style of the old masters, when there was a lot of glazing used. This wasn't so much of an issue, but it is for me, for my style, because I will often, as you know, wash in my sketches. Uh, I'll, I'll make them darker and work my way into later areas. Now, the areas that I wash in darkest, which will in this case be these, you know, trees like this and trees like this and what have you, uh, they'll be very dark. And when I lay my colors in, at the moment that I lay my colors in, uh, it looks good to me. And I wanted to go back in here and lighten them up because they fell flat. They just felt that they've gone a little sort of blah. Oil paint would do that. If, if you paint over a, dark, over a dark wash or a dark underpainting, and you lay oils over top of that, unless you're using a knife, okay? A knife is an exception because you're laying a good thick layer over top, so it's not an issue. But oil paint will tend to lower in value. Each color you use, uh, if you're sort of uh, mid-value or higher value, it'll drop in value because of its chemical com uh, composition and, and the nature of, of the way in which it cures, because it cures and oxidizes. It doesn't just dry. It's not like watercolor. Um, it will actually drop in value a little bit, and you'll lose some of that visual zeal, you know, that, that oils can have. So, you can say, yeah, but can't you, comp can't you comp compensate for that before you paint it in? Uh, you could, 
but you'd end up getting so wrapped up in the technical aspect of doing that just right, and you'd never get it right anyway, that you will you won't be able to focus on on the artistic end of things you know you want to be creative you want you want to paint things as you're seeing them in the moment you want it to be live and uh, not for the camera for yourself for your own mind so that's why sometimes I have had to go back into areas to add light a little bit to bring to bring them to life a little bit so we're at what we had we had the we had the uh, the wash in, then the paint in. Now what, uh, in, in a sense, the over painting, on the paint in, but only a cer in certain areas. Uh, it's just the nature of oils. It's not a big deal. The value doesn't plummet. It just drops just a couple of steps. Be aware of it. Uh, don't worry about it because you can always go over what you've painted. You know, just add a little, add a touch of uh, of. Uh, linseed oil or poppy seed oil or whatever you've got to thin it off a bit step up higher in value and lay a few strokes on and it brings it back to life and then it won't continue to drop the the biggest drop in value in values that oil paint has is really during the first week or two after that it slows right down and over the next hundred years it might drop in additionally in value one tenth of what it did in the first week or two so it's not a big deal just be aware of that though because you might you might put a, a study together very quickly or or, or make a, a painting and then the next day you go back and look at it and you go wow that's kind of disappointing I thought it ha I thought it was more vibrant you know than, than what I'm seeing now that's partly because of that might be partly your own perception of it, but it probably has something to do with the fact that, yeah, oil paint loses its, it loses its mojo pretty quickly, but only to begin with. You can reinvigorate it. Uh, that's not a big deal if you do it as a hobby. I'm just pointing it out because some people may notice it. It happens more with some colors than with others. Acrylic paint is not subject to that. Acrylic has an opacity to it that's very controllable uh, it does not lose its intensity chroma or value uh, watercolors encaustic yeah you know tempura as far as i know there is no other medium that that, that has that that has that issue but uh i'm willing to deal with it because i'm used to it i'm aware of it and i will still pick oils over anything but that's my personal preference. I know acrylics are far more popular nowadays. And in a lot of ways, acrylics are easier. Um, but in other ways, oils are easier to work with. Won't go into that. But uh, anyway, there we sit. Um, this is it. I know, you know, I'm sorry. I know that I've chopped this week up with little tiny uh, two and three minute uh, videos. Uh, but all I promised was that I would take you along with me on my painting journey. So, you know, as it happens, I wanted to tidy it or work on the last one. <coughs> Little one. <coughs> but I think improved. And I wanted to revisit this one. I was very happy with it to start with, but it, it did dim, you know, over the last week. It did, a week or two hanging upstairs and I thought I could improve this. I love this idea of, of just going up here a little bit, you know. It opposes these this line while it complements it at the same time. It also helps to to cradle this area. So, you know, in a very minor way, subtleties, subtleties. And sometimes those those subtleties are kind of important. Uh, I really hope to get some canvases in tomorrow. If not, maybe I'll just buy one off the shelf just so that I'm painting something uh, for a bit of a longer video. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. I hope you didn't listen too closely, though, because mostly I just blither. Talk to you soon, guys.